bright and early. It's gonna be a a fun day. I can tell. Mark is coming out tonight. Yes, I am. Getting on somebody's yacht. I don't know if I'm gonna go though because I really have to work. Because we're gonna be out all day today, so I don't wanna. The don't work at night, Mark. You send emails to people. It's okay. They open my emails at one in the morning anyway, so well, that's pretty hot. Is it? Is that okay? Yes. The boat leaves at seven p.m. and I was planning on working until seven. Maybe they'll hold it for me. <laughs> no, you they probably will. I don't think I'm gonna go though, cause like I don't. Not even a debate. I don't think I'm gonna go. What the fuck? Why are you fucking clocking my my whereabouts? Because you've been acting fucking shady, muting me in the background. What? Shit. Would you like some cream cheese? Muting me in the background. What are you talking about? Oh, Saturday. Every time I call you, you sounded very upset. You I sounded was, very upset. No, I'm dealing with shit over there. I was world. outside. You should put that sandwich because your all your dust from your shoes is falling into your sandwich. It's better that way. No. Then put it back then. Yeah, he called me on Saturday and he was here at the office and he was he sounded upset that I was outside, and so I left. I didn't care that he was outside. Home. Yeah, you did because you mentioned things that were like you know indicative of someone who was who was annoyed. You've just been acting weird recently. You look very tired. I'm not. I slept well last time. No, my eyes are red, but why are your eyes red? I don't know. My I don't feel tired. I'm quite you hungry. You should look in the mirror. You look very worn out. No, I'm just tired. Anyway. Um, yeah, the fucking, so I left, it's alright, I don't want to upset him. Anywho, today's going to be a good day. So, we have a pickup from someone we work with, our dear CIL, uh, we're picking up the art. She's not going to be there, right? No, it's probably already in Israel. <laughs> Cause today is what? Are we in the twenties yet? Yeah. Oh my God, today is the twenty-first. It's probably already in Israel. What are we gonna do? What? What are we gonna do? About what? These next nine days. Hmm. You mean ten days? You wanna cut it that close? Do we have a choice? Uh, so we're picking up the stuff from her and then we're going to this new artist his name is Mati and he was his stuff was with um, this other art like collective they work with a lot of like emerging artists and they do a lot of really really cool things um, they also teamed up or they team up with the, there's this like art company that they get the work of emerging artists into like different places for them to get exposure and stuff. It's all like for free, with the hopes that the person will buy it, um, or the the organization or the company will buy it. So we are gonna go meet with them today because we're grabbing some of his stuff and it's there. And I spoke to the woman and she was like super duper nice. And she was like, yeah, we'd love to give you a tour. We want to sit down with you. Maybe we can partner on a couple of projects and this and that. So that's really, really exciting for me. Um, and she sounds really, really nice. She, the way she talks is so fun. She's like, so, um, yeah, we can totally have you guys over. It's like the hot girl growl. It's like, I'm too hot to talk normal. So I have to slur like this. So, it's good. I'm very, very excited to meet this woman. And hopefully she is everything that I think she is. <laughs> I don't think she will because she works for an art company. But, we'll see. 
<laughs> what does that even mean? The, the art people are... The people who work on the admin side of art are never like, you know, like the hot girls who growl. But maybe she will be, and then we'll be besties. You don't <laughs> like those people, Mark. I like them. No, you don't. No, you don't like them, or you pretend to like them, or you pretend to not like them. Which one is it? I don't mind. I don't judge people. <laughs> like, I can pull up a clip of you. From this show, where you go, actually no, from your intro to your YouTube going like, nobody wants to be with the fucking hot people. They're not cool. They're not fun. I said that? I don't know about that. <laughs> I definitely did not say that. You probably took that out of context. You have to, you have to find it and show it to me. I will. Okay. I'm not saying that was verbatim what you said, but it was along those, it was like the same thing. It was absolutely not like mm -hmm. that. I think what I said was that I didn't want to portray myself as like a hot person because like who nobody can relate to or most people cannot relate to that. You know, like I, I, I made a decision like uh, half a year ago that I was not going to use my social media to like show myself. It's not like, oh my God, look at me. Like I'm hot, right? It's like I would never, I don't want to use my social media like that anymore. Um, and so maybe in my intro was like that's not my goal, because like who wants to see that, you know? Or who? A lot of people. Not like who wants to see that, but people cannot identify with that. I want something that people can identify with. I don't want to be above people. So that's obviously what I was saying. But whatever. Um, <coughs> over the weekend we did this job that was. Not difficult, but it was. It was. Um, we learned a lot. So this this woman, she, her and her partner are very old, and they are. Um, uh, how would you put it, Steph? Prehistoric. They're just a little, they're just a little difficult, you know? Um, and uh, we were able to navigate it. I learned a lot about myself from imagine, that. Imagine, imagine like, um, Poland just after World War II, like literally collided with Brooklyn. He's trying to make and a Mar racist joke. And Marlboro. My friend here is trying to make a racist joke. There's no racist sure, joke, this woman's white. I don't know how that's racist. <coughs> She's Jewish. I wasn't saying that she was in fucking Auschwitz, Mark. That's the only way you can be racist towards Jews. <coughs> I didn't even remember she was Jewish. So what's the Polish thing for? Because her accent is Polish. It's Polish and Brooklyn together. Okay. Um... So she was a little difficult. Even if she's not actually little, Polish, it sounded Polish. They didn't really know what they wanted, and her and her partner came. And Mark assumes I'm always racist for some reason. Maybe you should stop saying racist things. I don't say racist things. Maybe you just hear racist things. Okay. Um. Uh. The so they they wanted. Uh, Mark. Staging. It's not normal. This room doesn't look normal. That's exactly how she talked. They wanted, um, they wanted virtual staging. It's not normal. And Steph here told me that he told me like the day before. I didn't tell him shit. Before, that, oh, I in know, passing mentioned that. No, oh, I can learn virtual staging in one night. No, I never said in one night. No, Mark. When I said one, give me a Jesus. night was after you booked the that's job not true. already. No, that's not true, Steph. That's yes, not true. Yes, it was. No, it's not. Mark, yes, it was. I, Mark had booked the job. I and did then not book the job. And it's like, hey, we're doing a shoot tomorrow and you got to learn virtual staging. I'm no. like, okay, I guess, I, uh, I guess I'll spend the night learning it. Oh my God, Steph, you're you're. Because I, no I had no intention of learning how to do it in one night, Mark. He said to me. No, he Mark said is hearing we, shit out of context. We, we this is spoke ridiculous. to um, Rob, who is the... Director of operations for um, the Frolic team, 
and he said to us or said to me that he has a bunch of like virtual staging that they do and so if we do that I was like yeah of course we do it um, because Steph had mentioned that he wanted to learn it this and that and I and I, we spoke about it and he's like alright give me a night I'll get myself familiarized get myself up to speed that's what he said yes and then the no, no no day, no 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 he's right you are right about that but you're taking me out of context now because I said let me get let me give me a night to familiarize myself with it not Steph, to learn how to do it that word in your life To get to know whatever it was, but I didn't say, oh, I'll learn it in one night. Is that unlike I you? I said, let me figure it out. Is that unlike you? To learn things in a night? To say something like that. I wouldn't say it's uncharacteristic, because I usually do. I'm able to learn things so in a night or two. It's not really that difficult. But I also, didn't, it, I also didn't commit to it, because I didn't know anything about it. So there's no way I would have been like, yes, I will do this. Like I didn't even really know anything about the programs I needed to use. Well, so I'm like, I'm well, just going to be Mark, to Mark without even consulting me, went, oh, yes, we do virtual staging to Rob. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I got to learn it. You didn't even hear that. Don't even Mark, say Mark, I was on the call. You were not on the Rob Yes, call. I was. Steph, you were there for two minutes and then you left. You were sitting right here. And you left. You had it on speaker the whole time and I was sitting at my desk. With your headphones on. You were no, not listening to the... That's why... Can okay, you tell so me one other specific of what happened on that call? Okay. Well, you seemed, first of all, you weren't even here. You walked in in the middle of the thing. That's not true at all. Steph, I was talking to the man when you walked in. You know no, how I remember Mark. this because I spent the first fifteen minutes of that call talking about his vacation in Mexico. Yes, which I was there for. Because you told him about you told him about the story of you forgetting your v, uh, of mm -hmm. your passport, mm -hmm. your green card. Mm -hmm. I was there for that, and then most of the rest of the conversation was spent. Rob, can you please figure out how to get this fucking invoicing thing because we're a small company? I was there for the whole call. All right. All right. Such dogma from you. No, I know that you walked I in the middle of the thing. I was there for the whole. You were call. not there for the whole call, Steph. I promise you, you were not. I was. Mark is just trying to like fucking shit on me now i was there for the entire call because you're like i need you here for the whole call because i want you to be honest so we can figure out the things and then beforehand you know how i know i was here for the whole call because bef right before the call you're like what are your notes let's talk about what we're gonna do yes. i was sitting right of there course. and you're like what are we gonna do what do you want to tell rob and then you got you wrote them down the things i wanted to say and then you got up and you came over here and sat down yes i was here for the whole call all right he was here for the whole call all right fine Okay. You're right, I didn't come over here and sit down because it was just you on camera, but I was sitting right there and I had my headphones off. I was listening to the whole thing. The way I remember it... He remembers a whole lot of things. No, the way I maybe, remember it Maybe it's that because of all that Hennessy you've been drinking. We've gone into a different realm. Okay. So... You press a little hard with your brush on your edges, giving yourself trauma, giving yourself brain damage. And your binder clips are on a little tight. We've moved into personal insults now, so let's all just strap in. One of those bag pins slipped into your brain stem. Um, <laughs> we figured out the shoot though at 11.30 at night. It wasn't 11.30 at night. When everything finished and I got the money. Oh yeah, when the woman finally sent it. Yeah. That was well, crazy. She, but she figured out the images with the quality, right? Yeah. I can't believe she made us email them to her. I like how you're like, can we figure out how to not have this happen again? I'm like, well, have her not have us email it. No, but there must be another way. But I've emailed to, to other things before. Other no, we've never emailed someone images that are going to go up. No, no, no. No, I've shared uh, Google Drive. So what the woman was saying was that, well, she oh, has an AOL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, I know what you mean. we shared a Google Drive with her. And well, you she added said, her. You added her. You didn't send her the link. That's why. I shared it with her. No, no. If you share it with her, she won't be able to view it. But if you send her the link, she can open it. No, but why would I've done this a million times and they're always able to open it, even if their their thing is not Google. Like who? Yahoo, Hotmail. 
I'm gonna test I it on myself because I, I think it's like if you have the link, you can open it. No, I think she said it wasn't doing because she has AOL. That's what she said to me. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know, man. That shouldn't be a thing, right? No, I think it is. I think it's like you have to have the link if you want. We can try it. We'll see. I'll test it on yeah, my thing because know. I have a, a, an AOL. <laughs> I'm just happy she fucking figured it out. <laughs> That's yeah. all I'm happy for. I hope she, because next thing she, next thing you know, she's like, I need you to email me a USB with the pictures on it. I need you to send me, a uh, mail me a, a letter <laughs> with the images. A woman asked us to mail her something. I was just like, no, just Fucking email ridiculous. me. And she said, no, 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 mail it to me. Here's my address. I'm like, no. What? No, no, no. Remember to print the COR ticket. Yeah. You got on the phone, right? What? Huh. What? You got on the phone with her, right? After? With whom? With that woman. Yeah. No. Yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Um, She's like, oh, email your me your brochure or mail me your brochure. She I'm still like, wants me to mail her stuff. I was like, I uh, no, no, I know. sit down, <laughs> go away. Anyhow, um, that was super weird. That's insane. But um, <laughs> the that was crazy. But we finally figured it out. You know what I learned about myself is that I'm very good at like, just like making people feel not stupid and making them feel at ease and safe because like these women were like out of control especially no, the one that one I was of them talking. was out of control the other yeah. one was all right the other one was like pretty cool thank god for her yeah because that would have been wrong was like she yeah. was very very like oh my god <laughs> so she like freaked out she's like this room doesn't look normal who wants to see the closet space and i'm like i think a lot of people want to see the closet space well, you know what? She's right because so basically how the room is set up, it's like this and then the door is here and it's then square the room, room is like this. So the windows are there and it has a lot of closet space to this side. So the closet is over here. The windows are over here. So if you shoot it, it's like one or the other. Like you can get it like super wide, but it won't it won't come out right. And then for if the you staging, try to shoot like a 360 photo, but like you can't. Yeah. It doesn't so work. you have to kind of like choose. So you can do both yeah. sides and show yeah. both. But then for the staging, so they want it to be virtually staged, which means you like digitally put in furniture in different places and make it look like there's furniture in the room, even though it's empty. Um, and it's not to trick people, it's to show people what it can look like. So steph went ahead and we had a discussion it's like should we show the window with the view or should we show the closet and we both said okay the closet would be better because you're gonna assume like obviously there is a window in this gigantic room um also but, like you could see like the light streaks because she got both images too yeah so and i'm like well the closet space is good because then you can see the scale of the closets if yeah. you have it um, and you can kind of see like the layout of the house, like how you'd walk into the room and everything. All right, so if you're going on a different tangent, okay. so listen to me. Um, but she said that no, nobody cares about the closet. They want to see the view because there's a really, really beautiful view and people want to see that. And then when she said that after we've already staged it, I go, oh my God, this is a great learning opportunity because she is right you know like people pay way more money in new york city for views because like most of the times you're looking into a brick wall or like you're looking directly into somebody else's house so if you if you have like a big sprawling view do you want to show that i mean be clear it wasn't like a big sprawling beautiful view it was a view nonetheless Steph, and you could see far and wide it's not like across the street yeah People pay for that stuff. You, it's way more expensive for a place that you're not looking into somebody else's apartment. I'm not, I'm not so disagreeing. That taught me that the next time to we ask, ask mm -hmm. hey, how do you want this? How do you want that? And I feel like with every job, and that's why these like smaller jobs are so important because like you cut your teeth, you learn, and they're not as upset. Because when you get to the big leagues, if you make a mistake like that, it's not really a mistake, it's a matter of preference. But if you don't ask, I also think the more expensive the listing, and I hold, I, I've held true to this the whole time. The more expensive the listing, the easier it is to shoot. Well, you know what, Steph? It's not always true. It's just not. I've never it's had an experience where it's been harder for me to shoot a a a fucking million dollar place. Well, you know what? How many million dollar places have you? Quite shot? a few.
Video two. Way easier to shoot the other plays. Alessandra's plays. Because Alessandra is just a cool girl. And that has anything to do with me shooting? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think these people are all nut jobs, and you're gonna see. Dude, wait until we start shooting for Stacy. Well, we're not gonna shoot for Stacy. Carly is. Stacy. Um, well, if we're doing video. Well, what about this guy Nicholas tomorrow? Yeah, and we're doing video too for Stacy. Yeah. We're not really, because they hardly do video. If they do it. Yeah. Like, that's the only place we'll work with her. Yeah. But look at the this other dude for tomorrow. He's a pain in the ass. Like, he wants an iPad, and he wants to see stuff, and micromanage, and be over your shoulder. It'd be I, tough with him. I kind of almost don't want to go. I don't know if I want you to go. To see how this goes. Yeah, you should just let me go handle it myself. I... If I didn't know how that would have turned out, I would just do it just for the fun of it. To not go just for the fun. It would go fine. Alright, so I won't go. Okay. I'll do it. The um, job's at 12, right? Yeah. The earliest I can pick up the lunch tomorrow is 10. Why? That's the earliest I had on the... They had on available. I think they're opening later because of Christmas. It's coming up. Oh my god, Christmas is coming on the perfect day this week, this this year, because it's like the weekend. Is it? Yeah. I think so. Because if today's the 21st. Then I might head home. Christmas is Friday. For the day. What day are you going back to your parents' house? I don't know. Who cares? I'm trying to plan with you, Mark. <laughs> um, you're, you're going, so you've made the decision to go back? Let's see. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there. I just want to know what day you're going. You're going out. Uh, More than likely, it's gonna be like the the um. The day 24th. before. Yeah. The twenty fourth. The evening before. Yeah. Sorry, do you have Christmas on the day? We always have it the night before. Really? What do you What do you mean by that? Like we have dinner on the 24th and that's when we do all this shit. So you don't do anything on the 25th? Not really, it's just I hang out there. Why is that? My dad used to always work on the 25th. Really? So we just did it the 24th at night. Oh my god, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Your own little tradition. And we opened all the gifts on the 24th. Are you doing the secret time? Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. Supposed to buy something for my brother's wife. Did you talk to your dad? Are they gonna come? Who? Cool. No, they're not coming. So I'm not a little confused about it, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, I don't want to be alone. Very strange. What do you mean? Um. All right. So tomorrow shoot. So you'll handle that. So. Fuck. I think I have to go. Because we've never met this guy before. It's a new client. Shit. Alright, fine. So I'll go. Um. I like how it was. Oh no, I'll go by myself. And Mark's like, nope. No, what because it's a brand about? new client. I don't care. What the fuck? If you want to go and fuck it up, then that's on you. All I'll do is Why just... Why would you assume that I'd fuck it up? Because you'll have the resting bitch face if the guy's over you. No, I wouldn't. Okay. I'll just, like, text you tomorrow in the middle of the shoot and be like, Hey, relax a little bit. Relax your face. I've shot with annoying clients before, Mark X. Like, this is the first one. Give me one annoying client that you shot with. Outside of me. Without me being there. Just you being by yourself. First Mark. Time. Who? Mark. Mark Amos? You're literally the most fucked up, ridiculous person I've ever... Let's just move on. All right. Hey! You know who I spoke to yesterday? Matt Lesser. I don't know who that is. The guy with the big house, 21 King Street. I don't know who that the is. The millionaire, the million dollar brownstone guy who I texted in, in Union Square. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did he spoke say? Spoke to him. He goes, On the hey. phone? Okay, that's good. He goes, um... So, funny story, 
the um the the seller they have their own stager and they already brought them in this and that whatever so they didn't want my input and i go oh okay and he's like have you ever done brownstone before i was like of course sent him five five three five five six sent him five five six <clears throat> and he goes oh my god this is amazing blah 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 mm -hmm. he loved the video he was like oh the video is so quirky and which fun. one of you yeah oh, i sent okay. him both okay um because i i didn't think we didn't have good pictures yeah well, i didn't really take pictures you didn't take well you did but no it's <laughs> remember the let's just leave it alone weird. the scheduling was weird that's why steph took fun steph took copious pictures but he was trying something and it didn't really work so they were unusable which is fine because it's, it's all good because he shot a video he shot two videos and they were phenomenal so i sent the guy the videos and he was like oh my god you guys are so fun and quirky mm -hmm. um because the video was fun video could have been better too yeah um not like funny it wasn't funny but it was like it was like a little tour of the house in, in a fun in like a one frame one take kind of thing yeah it was so cool so he really liked that so he's like yes i have a couple of things coming up let's keep in touch and he was like yeah if my assistant reach out reaches out to you it's me don't worry blah 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 so he was pretty pumped so that was really really good. good he seems like a nice guy oh super nice yeah that's what i mean like the more once you make it to that level like things don't really touch you anymore so it's just like yeah whatever like i can i can take this or i can lose it or whatever it's like it doesn't really matter to them because a lot of these other realtors are it's like it's like tooth and nail you know it's like i need this listing or i'm gonna fucking like i'm gonna die like i'm gonna submerge i just don't want you to get disappointed stuff because a lot of these people at the top are fucking psychopaths no they're they're like tough they want to make sure you get the right work done but they're not they're not nearly as crazy as the ones at the bottom did you hear what mike said over and over about stacy how ridiculous she is mark I, f I think you forget your skills with people sometimes. Oh, so, okay, they're crazy, but Mark will handle it. <laughs> I'm, yes, I will handle it, but I'm telling you that they're crazy. That's great. I don't have to deal with it. Oh, but you want to go by yourself. Well, Nicholas will be fine. I can take Nicholas. Carly was just like, oh, he wants to tether to my camera to see exactly what I'm doing, this and that, because he wrote in the email. He's like, yeah. We, 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 we micromanage, we want to see everything, you know, we're there on the shoot and Carly was like, yeah, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> and I was like, please don't say that to the client, let me handle it. So I took Carly off of the email and everything and I was like, hey Steph, we're going to do this ourselves. <laughs> because no, Carly's I'm worried like, if I should like, get a wider lens or something. <laughs> Carly's I'm like, like pass. She was like, well, she's also cool. like traumatized from her last boss because we heard some crazy shit yeah. from her the other day. Yeah, which is which felt really inappropriate to me. Very, very inappropriate. Like I think she should, she should, she, she, she is. should, she is. I, can you say? Yeah, it? she should, she should fuck. She should. <laughs> it's hard to say. She should shoot. <laughs> oh my god. She, she should, should, should sue. sue. Yeah. <laughs> that was not good. We need to put that in the book. <laughs> she should sue. She should shoot. She should sue. She should sue. There we go. Yeah, because this guy was crazy. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah. I fucking hate that you make me laugh, Mark. I fucking hate you for it. Okay. I think that's my line. You fucking you suck. You sec. fucking suck. Uh, I was supposed to be mad at you. Yeah. You fucking suck because you're giving me shit this morning. I get here I get here five minutes before five? nine. Five? Really? You're going to say five? I get here five minutes before nine. Three minutes. Th oh, no. Three minutes before nine. Even though I had, even though I had to go to CSI and get there, I got to CSI at eight oh five. You can call him. Call what's his name? Dan, Dan, Derek, Derek. Call Derek. Is Derek the one who's like, hi? No, how you doing? No. Derek's the 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 Middle Eastern guy. He's got a super white name. I don't know why. Maybe he's the he manager. Here. He's the manager. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But we got there like right when they opened. Walked back, waited 10 minutes for the L train. <laughs> I don't know why. The fucking L train. Then came right here. Mark's I gonna said give me shit. Self. I, I would have been here earlier if I had my skateboard, but it's still fucking snow everywhere. He said to me, Oh, you know what? We need to wrap this up 
um, because we have to go to uh, U-Haul. U-Haul, and God knows how long that's going to take. I don't think it'll take long. No? Uh, hopefully they fired that other lady. I hope they fired everyone who was there. <laughs> they were so disgusting yeah, and rude. I've never shitty. had that fucking... Like, like they were tr- it's like almost like they were trying to be assholes. Yeah. And everyone was nice to them for the while until they really got shitty to everyone. Yeah. And everyone started yelling. <laughs> oh, um, Ari. Why is that name sound? Oh, lead. What? Didn't we pay the insurance? It didn't go. It's, uh, they haven't taken it yet. Oh, they haven't taken it. Why? Oh my God. Jessica just emailed me. She was like, good morning, Mark. And close, please find the cancellation notice. From the finance company, please remit service before twelve twenty three to avoid cancellation. <coughs> we but you called they them now. They didn't take it. Yes, and the, the money is in there. the account. Yes. Oh my God, is it still there? Yeah, the money still there. Okay. I checked it this morning. And Ari just sent me. Um, That's so weird. Super weird. Yeah, I don't know. Ari, you should call them right now and be like, "Yo, fucking take the money out. I I'd, I'd like my insurance to continue, please." Ari just messaged me saying that. Um, he said the the email started. He's very excited to kick off today. Oh, he just started today. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, you get some good responses. I don't know, right? He said he's gonna pause it on Wednesday. I'm gonna go right through, man. I'm just not gonna do it on Friday, but yeah. every day. Not Christmas, not New Year's, but. You know. When are you coming back? Monday. Okay. Are you gonna stay the whole time? Till New Year's. No, we have what? <laughs> we need money, Mark. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I hope you're not saying till New Year's because we gotta figure this shit out. Luckily, everybody here in New York, like with real estate, they're back like the day after Christmas. Let's see. I hope, <laughs> unless they're taking till New Year's. The big people are all gone. Yeah, till New Year's. Yeah. Or till like a week after, after, yeah, till yeah. a week after New Year's. <coughs> Everyone's taking their two-week vacations now. You know, I was thinking today, I was thinking about, like, all the people who are still out of work. Custodians, people who would, like, clean the schools, people who would clean, like, big office companies, bartenders, servers, bottle waitresses, like, uh, promoters... There's so many people who are still out of work, and how can they not give these people money? That's crazy to me. Like, wh- I wonder what they're doing. Or like people who would like nanny, but now the the parents are home, so it's like. We well, don't I need know you. that. That's how my mom is. Is that why she's fucked up? Yeah, that's why she doesn't have work. I was wondering that because, like, when you was like, "Oh yeah, she's out of work," I'm like, "You've always said that she, even if she gets fired, she always finds another she job." She usually does. So it's because they're home, right? It's because nobody wants anybody in their house. Right. Oh my God, what are but those people doing? But she said she found some uh, some place, like, but it's like a five story. They want her to clean the whole. But it's only a couple. Mm. So like, I so don't think they can make that, that much, much of a mess. But like, yeah. who the fuck needs five floors if you're just two people? But look at this woman. You said they're gonna grow into it. That's what you told me. Who? Sarah and her man and John. That's like a whole brownstone, though. So isn't this the same no, thing? No. It's like five stories of an apartment building. It's the same thing, Seth. No. I... No. Seth, it's, it's the brownstones no. that they cut up into apartments. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, I know, but it's like in a building. <laughs> it's like five floors of a building. I think that's what a brownstone Anyways. is. But anyhow. Um, yeah, like, that's fucked up. How can they not... How can they give people a hundred... And fifty dollars a week. A week. Yeah. And a lot of these people have kids and like families yeah. and shit. My mom has to go back to Romania too. For what? Because my grandmother's dying. The one in in, in Long in Island. In Romania. Oh, the. Uh, I her thought. Mom. I thought her mom was the yeah, one. Yeah, in yeah, no, it's it's a it's complicated. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, her actual mom is in Romania. Does she have money to go? She she said she'll figure it out. It's like bad because Europe's got crazy quarantining rules right now. Yeah. And they fucking hate Americans. Yeah, of course. So she's like, she doesn't have a Romanian passport up to date now. She only has her American one, which is not good because it's like. But can she go there and spend like 90 days with her American passport? No, she can do whatever she wants, but it's just like 
if you have a Roman, if you come into the country with a Romanian passport, it's easier. Oh. It's not like they're gonna hold her at the thing and be like, "Ah, oh, you're on the no-fly list." She'd be fine. I don't know. But um, anyways, <coughs> that's so. I just worry about these people a lot because I'm like, and like the wickedness of it all. Like, it's just like, what are they supposed to do? Yeah. Is there still like rent protection right now? Hmm? Is there still like rent protection going what? on? What rent protection? No. What do you it mean ended. by that? No. It ended. Stuff that ended like three months after the no, thing. No, I think it ends this month. They extended it for a long while Steph, in New York you, at least. There's no way that you could be in your apartment and not be paying rent from February until now. That's not true, I don't think. So who's paying it? No one. I think that I don't think landlords really are allowed to kick anybody out right now. I no. Think. That's impossible. You can't owe I'm gonna look it up. A year? Ten months of, of but rent. But they paused it, Mark. I'm telling you. NYC rent protection. <coughs> Governor Cuomo announced the moratorium on COVID-related residential evictions will be extended until January 1st. Yeah. I don't know how that goes. Yeah. Nobody can kick anybody out until then. It's going to be fucking horrible, though. So who's paying the landlord's rent then if you can't I don't pay? Think anybody is. So the landlord just doesn't pay their mortgage? Yeah. I don't think it's that. N- yeah, that's what it says, Mark. They had a whole conversation. What's his name on the, I forget, the, the Netflix show with the brown guy? Mm, Hassan, Hassan Minaj. Hassan Minaj, yeah. His thing. He was talking about it. He's like, remember, it's like a trickling effect because like the, the landlords are living month to month off the tenants, but the tenants can't pay and now the landlords can't pay their mortgages and now banks are having problems so a lot of properties are going to end up foreclosing That's insane. but what are people supposed to do like i don't i don't, I don't understand I don't know. That's so weird. what are we gonna do be fine. Hmm? we'll be fine we still need that 3k And this guy, Nicholas, is for Compass now. Mm-hmm. So. We're not getting that money. No time soon. Nope. So what's the deal? What's the deal, Leo? Don't know. We'll figure it out. We got 10 days. I wish you could, like, tell me a plan. I don't want to be like, oh, let's figure it out. What plan, Steph? We have to work and borrow money. What do you mean by what's the plan? Where are we going to borrow money from? I don't know. I'll dream something up. Going to a loan shark? <laughs> sell our souls? We're going to get kneecapped, Mark. Curb stomp. Ugh. Alright. Well, <laughs> if this guy Jeremiah fucking clears the thing, that's still that's still is nothing because hmm? it's, it's five grand. But then no, but at least then we can show that we have receivables. To whom? To someone, to a, a loan company, or something. I need to. I'm gonna talk to Alessandra or reach out to Ari. That's done. Um. Work out the money with Alessandra. I definitely have to do that because we have to figure out when we're gonna not when we're gonna shoot, but like how much we're gonna charge and this and that. Virtual staging, are we talking to because we have to figure that out, Steph? Because if Rob sends me a job right now, I want to be able to do it. So, are we gonna outsource? And if we do out, have you did you speak to any of these people? No, yeah. why? I'm gonna figure it out. No, no, Steph, I don't have time for this. And then if it doesn't look good, we're frantically like scurrying at the end. Mark, the shit, I don't think the shit that they're doing is gonna look good. That these people So that's on what I'm saying. Like, if good. you reach out and say, hey, send me sample of your, samples of your work, then you'll be able to see who is using the, the shitty one versus who's doing something realistic. All right. Yeah. So put that on your schedule. And then there was this guy named Edward, he works for this um, uh, small agency and he keeps opening the email and clicking around. Like every day he opens it. So 
um, I'm gonna call him today and be like, mm -hmm. surprise, bitch, I know that you like me, so why don't we just talk? So that's what I'm gonna be doing today on top of like sending a shit ton of emails. Um, everything is in HubSpot. I'm gonna look and make sure that we, we didn't miss anybody. Cause that's like the key, you know, like when you're doing like email marketing, when you get responses and whatever, you have to log it into whatever CRM you're using um, to make sure that you don't miss anyone and you put the alerts to remind you to double check with somebody. Cause a bunch of people said to me, hey, in January, I have a bunch of shit coming up. Reach out to me by like the mid, the early, whatever, because we have some work for you. So, and the good thing about staging is that you get the money up front. So it's not like you have to wait. You know, you never have to wait. With staging. Hopefully, this job with what's her name goes through with the IL. Oh my God. I'm going to message her to the phone. Well, you're going to have to talk to her anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 needs to get fucking. Because if she approves the job, then that would if be... If her client approves the job. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Jackie pushes for it. No, well, she said that's what she does because she's like... They well, believe in staging. What? They believe in staging. Yeah, so she's like... She's going to tell her two presses, like, this is what you're going to be able to sell it with or without staging. With staging, it's always going to be more. Of course. Yeah. So. You can ask more with staging. Yeah. Get faster offers too, cause it looks good. And the house can really be transformed. Oh yeah, for sure, no doubt. For forty like, k. Yeah. Yeah. 30 I bucks. think they'll take it. Hopefully. Hopefully Jackie's not, you know, sipping my tired of some. Not an Israel person's belly button. Israel is one of the most liberal countries in the world, so, and I and I didn't say Yael, I said Jackie. Uh oh. Jackie looks like she's sipping my tie out of some guy's belly button at mm -hmm. this point. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. You think she's straight laced all the time? No. I think Jackie's watching Modern Housewives in her bedroom. <laughs> Housewives. Mm -hmm. Talking to me about Barack, my. Barack is Yael's husband. I know. Anyway, what are you doing today? Literally nothing. I'm just gonna sit here. Apparently looking really tired. <laughs> we're gonna move we're gonna move the stuff out today. That's gonna take a few hours. Oh my god, should we bring giant garbage bags? Yeah. Maybe we should bring a box. Do we have a box that we could bring? We have that box, box, but all of our no. shit is there. We also have to go get that table from upstairs. We don't have to today. No, I'm not saying today, but we have to go get you it. said in two weeks, right? No, he said by Christmas. By Christmas. Yeah. We have to pull it down, disassemble it. Mm -hmm. Can't do that today. No, we can't. We Tomorrow. don't have So, yeah, we got to go. Where is this other place? Where are we picking up the work from? It's, um, it's in the city. Um, the woman sent me the address. Is it downtown? Midtown. Midtown? Does she have a loading dock? Mm-hmm. Okay. How big is this guy's work? Um, it's not crazy. We have to figure out some kind of organization system in the back of the truck. Because we're going to have a lot of artwork. Mm -hmm. And this woman's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, they said they're going to bubble wrap it, right? Yeah. Well, they say they had bubble wrap, so we can we can do it. Let me start email. Anyway, I'll find it later. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll find it. Yeah, I don't know I'll what we're going to do, though, for organizing in the back of the truck. Maybe I'll just be back there. No, just, right like, hold everything. Maybe, like, I don't think I'm holding good, it. I don't think that's a good idea. No? Maybe. No. Okay. Also, I think we should take the Queensboro Bridge. Mm. No, we shouldn't. Because that's going to add a lot more miles. We're going to have to end up paying the toll. Also, at one point, whenever U-Haul sends it to us, we're going to have to pay that fine. What fine? On the truck. The ticket? Anyway. What you got? What you got going on? Where's your thing? Grab your, your, your notes. I would really like to go because I'm scared of U-Haul because they... Oh, hey, hey! 
They always give us a big hassle over there. They're so disorganized, and the people are so fucking ra- like I don't understand what is going on over there. There's with a the lot customer of service. Happening. Anyways, this is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna fucking figure out how to do this through these subs, and I'm also gonna reach out to these people. What? You're pretty cagey with that just now. What do you mean? With my phone? With my to-do list? You don't like my to-do list? And then I'm working on, on social media. I'm gonna fucking... Seems like you're talking out of your ass, Steph. It seems like you don't have anything. You have the same things that you've been telling me for weeks. And y- your shit is not organized. Because you have like 10, 15 things on your list. Yes, I do. Are you doing 15 things yes, today? Yes, I No, not today. So you should have it organized, Steph, so you can keep track of what you need to be doing every day. Today I'm going to figure out the 3D stuff and I'm going to... I'm doing the intro videos for LinkedIn. I'm going to finish cutting that off and I'm going to fucking get it out on LinkedIn, both yours and mine. That's what's on my list. Do you, are you just like saying this or you, are you, you're, do you have a plan to do this? Because if we're outside, we're going to leave right now. And if we're outside like literally all day, how are you going to get that done? Well, we're going to come back here. Mm -hmm. And are you planning on like staying back and getting it done or you're just saying this? Don't do that face, Steph. I'm asking you because you say a lot of these things every day and, I, and, and you don't check off a lot of the things on your, your, your to-do list. I don't even think you actually check it throughout the day to say, okay, did I accomplish my list? You don't do that. So I'm asking you. I do do that. I have two things to figure out today, Mike. Those are the two things that I have to do. Okay. I'm just saying I think you'd be more productive if you put a plan together like, all right, from this time to this time, we have to be back at this time for me to be finished with it so I can leave at X time. And then maybe it's going to be X plus one hour for when I leave, you know, or whatever. Just so that you're like on track. I don't even know what time we're getting back today, Mark. So if you put a time, like we have to leave at this time. Like I'm going to be talking to the woman and God knows how long, how long that's going to take. Like if we find synergy there, you know, we might end up being there talking to her for a little bit. Or like maybe they have connections that they can like patch us in with and like we can work something out. But then we have to know, all right, in order for me to get my goals done, I have to leave at this time or something like that. I think you'd benefit from doing stuff like that so you don't just keep saying stuff and then not accomplishing it. But that sounds good to me. I, I, so what's the, what's the purpose of the LinkedIn video again? I'm gonna go hard on it because I keep seeing things that that's really important. What do you mean? Like it's it's very important to like actually get that done. What done and what's important and seeing what? The LinkedIn like getting because you can get a lot of natural growth on LinkedIn oh. that you can't get in a lot of other places. So. Mm. Okay. Organic, they call it. <laughs> Organic growth. Mm. Sounds good to me. I'm I'm pretty pumped. I'm just gonna confirm this rental now so we can move a little faster. Yeah. Thank you for it. Ten a.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Hopefully they have up-to-date trucks. <laughs> because the truck that we got the last time was so fucking old. It was all rickety. Well, we're not getting a truck, we're getting a van. What? Aren't we? Didn't we agree on this already? The Catherine piece is pretty big. And then the, the no, Hawk is pretty not. big. It's not. The Hawk is not bigger than this. It's about, it's the same size. Okay. And it, so it'll be fine. And the Catherine piece is smaller than that. All of the Catherine pieces are smaller than that. Are you sure, Steph? I think like, I feel like the Catherine piece that we put over there is like that size. No, no? I don't think so. Okay, I trust you. The th- I think the reason we agree on that is because the ground in the the bottom of the truck is the rubber is wood. Oh right, right, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. So, so we, we want the van. van. Okay, all right. That's yeah. That's what you're saying. Maybe we should grab the tool <coughs> box just in case. Oh yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. we have to take out the nails. Or do we have to do that? I mean, it would be good to have we it. We should just 
bring no. the thing. <laughs> let's just let's just play it safe. Yeah, let's just be safe. Um, I don't, I don't know if I want to bring it all the way to the U-Haul. We can drive back here and grab it. Okay, it's pretty heavy. Or yeah. two bag or two bag. Maybe we should get one of those bags with the rolly. I don't wanna rolly, 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 Very my devil in. Maybe we'll get a, a woo hoo hoo hoo! Iman Saleh. Oh, oh, here she is. Oh no, this is the this is the the Yael woman. Confirming one p.m. today for the art pickup. Thanks. Yes, I'll be there. Do we need damage protection? No. What do you mean? No, we do not. Insurance. Yeah. Yes. How much is it? It's twenty five. Yes, put it. Why? Because we have the money, Steph. Do we? Yes. I don't know if I you know. should always put it if you have the money. It's good karma. How much is it gonna be in total? Hmm? How much is it gonna be? Yeah, it's definitely not. So this is my point. This is my perspective. If you literally cannot afford the insurance, like when you're doing a rental, you don't have to get it. But if you have the money and you can afford it, you absolutely must do it because that's gonna be the time when you get into an accident. And we have like what? Almost $100 allotted for this? So we can do it. There's still $150 deductible if we hit anything. <laughs> Steph is literally the most ha glass half full person. He's like, yeah, we can afford it, but if we do get in an accident, we still have to pay 150 bucks. So I think that's better if we get into an accident and we have to pay fucking 10 grand to fix the other person's car and to replace the fucking U-Haul. So just relax. Yeah. Mark's an ass. No, you're an ass. You're ridiculous. You say the most ridiculous shit out of your face. There's still a hundred and fifty dollar deductible. Right? I mean, in the event of an accident where you don't have to pay to replace the other person's car and the U-Haul, you have to pay hundred and fifty. Hey, might be too much. <laughs> oh my god, it won't fucking let me move on to the next step. All right, we have to do this off camera because this is now super lame. Um, so you guys. Thank you for joining us. Do you have any um, last words, stuff? Fucking U-Haul, man. We need a truck. We really do. We need a truck. Yeah. This is insane. <sighs> My life. I need to also bring that fucking aux cord so I can play music in the truck. Yeah. Because mm. this is not good. No bueno. Stuff, you want to come back so we can finish? I'm trying to come back right now. I'm trying to get through this. Alright. We'll pay for the fucking. Pay for everything. I don't need furniture shit. Alright, Steph, so you want to you wanna come back so we can wrap this up? So. <coughs> to go to the mirror <laughs> you need to go to the mirror I'm looking in the mirror right now I look great look at me well do you have any last words no no I love you and I love you be kind.